Hey guys, what's going on? So I've been doing some work on my boat and Steve's over here behind me. So I had, I did an oil change on the boat and the oil filter was a pain to get off. I could not get it off with the band, um, a strap wrench. I tried like a regular wrench uh, to get up on the end of the oil filter and the one that I had was kind of loose on there. So I want to get it off. I got a pair of adjustable vice grip um, oil wrench pliers that I got from Harbor Freight and that wouldn't break it free. So Steve's like, I'll get it off for you. <laughs> so, so he's up here in my boat, pulled them out of the garage. And uh, I'll show you how we busted this oil um, filter free. It was, I'm telling you, it was on there. I have a pretty good grip, Steve would tell you. I couldn't get it free with this, the traditional methods. Hold on, I'll show you what we did. So we got the, a 4.3 Mercruise, a V6. My boat's an 89 bow rider. I researched this on the internet and it was thread after thread after thread on the forums of how to break one of these oil filters free. So Steve is a bus mechanic and <clears throat> he runs up against this quite a bit. So what we did is he had a really good fitting oil filter wrench that we put on a, a long breaker bar. 74 to 76 millimeter. Okay. And, you know, I couldn't really get it on super tight. So Tony held his finger you know, underneath the side of it. Yep. And I just tapped this up with a hammer and it pressed right on. And then leverage is your key. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't have a lot of swing room in there with this, but I had leverage to get on it. And it, it's a very difficult. Now, the, we cracked it loose and then we worked it to get it off. And we put the new one on by hand. And then I just went about a quarter turn with this to get it snug. Now, Tony originally had... I'll show you the oil filter he took off. It's, I mean, this is a Chevy 4.3 V6, and years ago the filters would be like a um, a short filter for a Chevy V6 was like a like a PH47. He'll give you the exact numbers, and they also made like a PH51, which is the same filter. It was just a little longer. He had the longer filter on here. Mm -hmm. He bought the OEM one, which was shorter. Yeah. Next year he's going to buy the longer filter. It just gives. It drops the filter down, um, and it's, you know, the old one was white, the new one's black, it just blends right in with everything because it's shorter. Yeah. Um, but the top, the longer white one, it just gives you a little more circulation with the oil, and I think it's going to be a little easier to actually access it to, to get it. it off in the future. Yeah. But this was the setup right here to crack this thing loose, the long, and you can get a long 3 8 flex ratchet at Harbor Freight Inexpensive, and we tapped this, we actually got this, oil filter set up at Harbor Freight as well and it tapped it right on and we were able to have some success and get it off. Yeah, so I really hope this video helps a lot of you guys out. There was a lot of guys having really bad issues trying to get this oil filter off of this motor. And other app, marine applications too. This is what we did to cheat it off there. And Tony put a little bit of grease on the O-ring and this one was probably installed dry and it just baked itself on there. That's yeah. why it was so hard. But put a little bit of, you know, People say put oil on it. You could put a thin coat of grease on it. You get it tight by hand and, you know, maybe a quarter turn and that's it. We'll fire it off to make sure there's no leaks, but you do not have to tighten the hell out of this thing to make, you know, to, to get it on there. So. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.